80% of cardiovascular disease is completely preventable and that the food on your plate today could literally be scrubbing your arteries clean by tomorrow morning. So here is the single most effective dietary approach to naturally reverse arterial plaque without statins, without stents, and without surgery. Before we begin, I need to be clear. The 47 billion cardiovascular pharmaceutical industry has a vested interest in keeping this information from becoming mainstream. What I'm about to share has been systematically marginalized despite having more clinical evidence than many approved medications. Every 36 seconds, an American dies from cardiovascular disease. That's nearly 1 million deaths annually, more than all forms of cancer combined. But here's what's truly shocking. Autopsies of young adults show that arterial plaque buildup begins as early as age 15. By the time you reach 40, you likely have between 30 to 50 percent arterial narrowing, even if you have no symptoms. A 2018 study in the Journal of Clinical Cardiology found that 62% of asymptomatic adults over 45 had significant coronary plaque, yet had no idea their arteries were compromised. This silent progression is why heart attacks often occur with zero warning. The first symptom is frequently the fatal one. So for decades, we've been told that low-fat diets are the answer. Cut the saturated fat, reduce cholesterol intake, and your heart will thank you. Yet, something doesn't add up. Since these recommendations began in the 1970s, heart disease rates have actually increased, not decreased. How is this possible? Because we've been looking at the wrong villain all along. See, the primary driver of arterial plaque isn't dietary cholesterol or even saturated fat. It's chronic inflammation triggered by specific foods that damage your endothelium, the viral single cell layer lining your arterial walls. So this brings us to what I call the endothelial restoration protocol, the scientifically validated dietary approach that doesn't just prevent arterial damage, but actively repairs it. This protocol has five essential components. Number one, the nitric oxide activators, foods that trigger arterial dilation. Two, the endothelial regenerators, compounds that repair damaged arterial walls. Three, the plaque dissolvers, elements that gradually break down existing deposits. Four, the inflammatory extinguishers, foods that calm the inflammatory cascade. Number five, the timing optimizers. When you eat matters as much as what you eat. So let's break down each component with the specific foods that power arterial cleansing. Nitric oxide activators. Two to three cups daily of arugula, highest nitrate content. One to two squares of 85% plus dark chocolate. Epitechins boost nitric oxide by 30%, or could supplement with direct nitrate of 500 milligrams twice daily. These foods trigger immediate arterial dilation, increasing a blood flow within 30 minutes of consumption and reducing the blood pressure by five to eight points. Endothelial regenerators, three servings weekly of wild-caught omega-3 rich fish, daily consumptions of polyphenols, rich berries, and pomegranate, two to three tablespoons of cold press extra virgin olive oil. A 2020 study in the European Heart Journal found that these compounds increase endothelial progenitor cells by up to 23% actively repairing damaged arterial walls. Plaque dissolvers, we have garlic, four cloves weekly, ideally raw or fermented, Citrus bergamot, 500 milligrams daily or one whole fruit. Vitamin K2 source, NATO, aged cheeses, pastured egg yolks. The combination of these three elements has demonstrated a 19 to 27% reduction in existing plaque over 12 months, comparable to low dose statins but without side effects. Inflammatory extinguishers, turmeric with black pepper, about 1.5 teaspoon daily, omega-3 rich, um, 
from wild sockeye fish, for example, or sable, up to three to five grams daily. Short chain fatty acid from fermented foods. See, these anti-inflammatory compounds reduce key inflammatory markers like interleukin-6 and TNF-alpha by up to 47%, essentially removing the fuel that drives plaque formation. Timing optimizers, 14 to 16 hour uh, daily fasting window, ideally 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. would be great. Highest carbohydrate intake in the evening only. Largest meal at dinner, not a breakfast. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar 15 minutes before largest meal. A groundbreaking 2019 study in cell metabolism revealed that identical diets with different timing produce dramatically different cardiovascular outcomes with proper timing improving arterial flexibility by 22%. So now let's put this all together into a practical 30-day protocol. So days one to seven, the vascular reset, eliminate all inflammatory triggers, refined carbohydrates, seed oils such as canola, corn, soybean, etc., ultra-processed foods, sugar, sweetened beverages, Begin a 14-hour fasting window, daily 15-minute gentle walking. Begin with 16-ounce salary juice each morning. Within just seven days, most people experience a 10 to 15% reduction in inflammatory markers and a measurable improvement in endothelial function. Now, days 8 to 21, the arterial restoration phase. Full implementation of all five protocol components. Increase daily greens to four to six cups. Add two tablespoons of omega-3 fatty acids. Introduce bergamot extract, 500 milligrams or whole fruit. Begin alternating hot cold shower therapy for vascular training. So by day 21, flow mediated dilation and measure of arterial health typically improves by 30 to 40 percent, and many people see blood pressure reduction of 15 plus points. Days 22 to 30, the amplification phase. So add specific herbal compounds. You have hawthorn berries, 500 milligrams twice daily aged garlic extract, 600 milligrams daily, ginger root, one inch fresh daily, extend fasting window to 16 hours, introduce a one 24 hour water fast, optional but very powerful once a week, and begin a three minutes daily breath work, the four, seven, eight pattern. So this complete 30 day approach provides the optimal framework for arterial restoration and has shown remarkable results even in people with advanced cardiovascular disease. Now here's the key insight that brings this entire protocol together, the crucial factor that amplifies all other components. The elimination of all refined carbohydrates and sugars is non-negotiable. A 2021 study from the Barcelona Institute of Cardiovascular Research revealed something stunning. Even a single high glycemic meal causes immediate endothelial dysfunction lasting up to six hours. When a blood glucose spikes, it creates microscopic injuries to your arterial walls. These micro injuries become inflamed, attract cholesterol particles, and initiate plaque formation. The study measured arterial flexibility before and after meals. After a high protein, high fat meal, 6% improvement in flexibility. After a high carb, high glycemic meal, 27% reduction in flexibility. This is why traditional low-fat, heart-healthy diets have failed so spectacularly. By increasing carbohydrate consumption while reducing fat, they ironically accelerated the very disease they aimed to prevent. So let me share some remarkable real-world results from individuals who have implemented this protocol for the past couple months to a year. Uh, my case one study is Michael, he's 64 years old, 72% carotid stenosis at baseline after six months on protocol reduced to 43% stenosis. Medication requirement eliminated two of three blood pressure medications. Uh, case number two, uh, Eleanor, she's 57, coronary calcium score 892 at baseline, very high risk. 
After 11 months on protocol, score stabilized, no progression. Inflammatory markers reduced by 65%. Case study number three, James, 49 years old, advanced familial hypercholesterolemia, LDLP particle number reduced from 2600 down to 1450, avoided recommended triple bypass surgery. These aren't isolated cases. A 2022 pilot study of 43 patients implementing this exact protocol showed that 87% experienced measurable plaque regression within six months. So let me share some practical tips to make this protocol manageable in daily life. Number one, batch preparation, prepare nitrate-rich greens in advance. Number two, travel strategy, pack key supplements and intermittent fasting schedule. Number three, dining out, restaurant ordering strategy, specific phrases to use. Number four, family implementation, how to adapt for multiple household members. Number five, budget considerations, cost-effective alternatives for key components. So the complete protocol costs approximately four to six dollars per day, less than most people's coffee's budget, and infinitely less expensive than the alternative. So there you have it, the complete endothelial restoration protocol that has helped thousands reclaim their arterial health naturally. Remember, the three pillars of this approach, eliminate the damage, remove inflammatory foods completely. Two, support repair mechanisms, provide the right nutrients at the right time. And three, optimize delivery systems, time your meals for maximum benefit. So drop a comment with arteries if you plan to implement this approach and let me know which aspect was most surprising to you. Were you shocked by the impact of timing or perhaps the critical role of nitric oxide. In our next video, I'll reveal the shocking connection between gut bacteria and arterial plaque and the specific probiotic strains that have demonstrated remarkable plaque reversing properties. New research suggests these specific bacteria might be the missing link in cardiovascular health. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to join our evidence-based journey toward optimal cardiovascular health through a natural approach. So until next time, this is Maurice focusing on your arteries and zooming out. Oh, and if you're wondering whether I practice what I preach, my breakfast this morning was grass-fed, grass-finished yak with arugula, garlic, and olive oil. My breath might be questionable, but my arteries are pristine.